Hi friends. Today, as you can tell by the title, we're doing a grocery haul. I'm actually not gonna do the grocery haul. Coda's gonna do the grocery haul. Hello. Because, I don't know, I did a video yesterday, so she's gonna do the video today. two different stores today and I just want to show you all a combination of everything we got. Alright, so we're going to start over here. We got two pans, okay, but by the way, I'm not going to mention I what that's for. That the... Some chocolate and glazed donuts. Yummy. I'm going to take over because, I don't know, Coda doesn't know what to say. So, we got an assortment of tea today. We have ginger and chamomile. We have ginger peach turmeric which is coda's i'm not a fan but coda green tea pomegranate and then raspberry because i'm a huge fan of green tea raspberry but we can't find it so then we got grape jelly because we're out of grape jelly strawberry cinnamon rolls because it's our favorite and crisco because it's for a video that i'm not gonna talk about over here this is so that we can make queso so that's fun Lots of chicken noodle soup. Pepper jack for the queso. Cream cheese for the queso. Obviously some pasta because who doesn't need pasta in the house? Although we have been using the protein plus pasta. All the mac and cheese. We have broccoli mac and cheese, the queso, and then the individual cups because they don't have regular mac and cheese in the store right now. Grill mates, uh, marinade mixes because we use them constantly and for everything um toilet paper because this is the only toilet paper we can find and we were lucky we could find it napkins saltines because we wanted saltines these are our lunches for today they're little pretzel sandwiches things um bread because we were out of bread donuts because grandpa eats a donut every day and then a variety of meat so we got a turkey breast pork chops, two things of chicken, and this is just lunch meat that I eat occasionally. Eggs, who doesn't need eggs, Excedrin, because we suffer from headaches and you really don't need to know much more about that. We got shake and bake back there because we always use it. Chicken broth, we got two of those. Orange juice, because me and Coda haven't had orange juice in a long time instant coffee for a video that i'm pretty sure you can all guess what it's going to be but we haven't filmed it yet so there's that milk because we were out of milk whipped cream from a can because we didn't have any more creamer both for me and coda because we have to use separate creamers lens wipes because we use them oh hello hello it doesn't want to focus on them, but we use them constantly. Whipping cream for dinner, sour cream for queso, and then these little seed sticks for the birdies because that one likes them. So that's, I think that's it. This is going to be a really short video, but it's fine, right? It's fine. Hi friends. So we thought that we were just going to do a grocery haul today and then we realized that that was going to be a super short video. So we're actually going to be baking today but so as we said before we're back in the kitchen we're baking again so let's give it a little background. Today we are making a recipe given to us by Joe Jonas. Basically Joe posted this recipe on his Instagram story a few days ago. I think it might have been like a week ago. And apparently it was, as he said, his mom's recipe. And it says a Texas sheet cake. So we're gonna make it. Well, we're gonna try. It actually does say that we needed a jelly roll pan. We don't have one of those, but what we do have is a baking sheet that is the same size. So we're gonna try. We don't know how well it's gonna work out, but we're gonna try and it's gonna be great. 
and a large mixing bowl. We have that. Okay. Mix or two cups of flour and two cups of sugar. Okay. One cup. Two cups. And then the goats. Look, One half. We're trying to make a Jonas recipe, okay? One! That's it. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. My hand got a little too excited. Okay, one more. Guys. Two cups of flour. Combine this right on and up. In a heavy pan, combine butter, shortening, water, and cocoa. Stir and heat to boil. Okay. Well, we have a pan and we're gonna move over to the stove. Stove. Okay. We're using unsalted butter because it doesn't specify what kind of butter. And it was the first one that we grabbed. Look at that in there. This is gonna go back in here and then um, that's it. One cup of water. Okay. And then fourth cup. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so now we heat this to a boil. I'm gonna heat it to a boil, everybody. It also says to stir it, but the butter is not, yeah. I can do a couple dishes. We'll see you in a few minutes. So, a lot of things are happening. Coda is over there getting the one half cup milk, two eggs, and teaspoon of vanilla ready, as well as a teaspoon of baking powder ready, so that we, because this is just about boiling, and once it boils, we have to start mixing. So, we're getting busy. Thank you, Blue Blue, for all your help, bud. You're doing so good. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so pour boiling mixture over flour and sugar. Add milk, eggs, baking soda, and vanilla. Mix well with electric mixer. Okay, I think we're ready. This is boiling. I'm gonna turn it off. What we're gonna do is we are gonna pour this right into here. So we need the one, two. Can you pour that stuff that you just mixed together in here, please? Right. So we're going to pour that in. And it goes. And this. All right. And then I'm going to use my electric mixer. I'm going to mix well. <laughs> While I'm mixing this well, you need to well grease the pan. That's right, Lovely. Well grease it. Exactly. Thank you. I don't know. Oh, we didn't preheat the oven. Oh my, this is dripping and things. The counter is a mess, guys. We were under, I mean, we're under prepared all the time, every day, all day. Oh, that's true. That's right, Blue Blue. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now we gotta pour this into that. Why not? Yeah. It'll be fine. It will be fine. The title of this says Texas Sheet Cake, but it says while brownies bake, make frosting. So I don't, is it brownies? Is it a cake? I don't know. I'm still wondering if we should have used this, but it's not the same size. You know what? We're fine. <laughs> We're fine. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. Yep. You're such a good cook. Oh, the Rican taught you? Oh, wow. We might be doing this wrong. We might have made a bad decision. But. We did it. Okay, when the oven comes to 400 degrees, we are going to put that in the oven for 20 minutes and we'll start the camera again to make the frosting. See you later. We're back. Yes, you first. Thank you very much. You're so we have a pan. It's time to make the frosting cakes in the oven. Try not to look at the cake because oh, right. it's scared. Right. Let's not scared. Look at the cake. Um, okay, so for the frosting. In pan, combine one stick of butter. 
little bit thin here. Uh, cocoa. So we need two tablespoons of cocoa. And one fourth cup of milk. Heat to a boil. Okay. Mix in powdered sugar and vanilla after it's boiling. I think we can do that. We gotta get this buttered milk. I also need something to stir it. Trying to get this butter to melt and then the uh, cocoa to dissolve. That's important. Okay, so it's starting to boil. So I think we need to add the other stuff in. One teaspoon of vanilla and powdered sugar. And now I stir until smooth. And we'll be back to show you. The cake is out. So we have our frosting. So excited you forgot to turn it Okay off. guys, so the cake or brownie, I don't know what he caught, I don't know, but it's ready and we're gonna try it. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna try it. Here we go. Ready? Dang it. Sorry, oh guys. Gosh. I, I just, I, <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, mm. Okay. I would have thought that it would taste a lot sweeter than it does. But it doesn't. And I'm kind like of living for it. Guys, no joke. I can't even pick some of it up with my fork. It's just... so... I know a lot of people hate this word, but it's so moist. Moist. <laughs> Look, Mama J. I never doubted you. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna close out today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow because of this lovely thing we like to call quarantine. Quarantine. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.